All right, what is up, guys? Brian here, and this is my WWE Great Balls of Fire predictions for uh, to what I think is going to happen and who I think is going to win tomorrow night at Raw, at Raw's uh, brand only event, Great Balls of Fire. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, a little bit of news coming out of yesterday, however, from for SmackDown. Um, before I get into the predictions. Over on SmackDown, um, last night at a live event, which I believe was co-branded, um, we saw the crowning of a new United States Champion as AJ Styles defeated Kevin Owens for the United States Championship at Madison Square Garden last night. Uh, and obviously, uh, yet yesterday was a huge, was a news, uh, news-making day. Uh, with Austin Aries getting released, uh, them announcing that Dixie Carter, uh, f former TNA uh, president, uh, was is going to be on the WWE Network. Uh, she was, um, she's going to be a part of apparently of this uh, WWE 24 special about Kurt Angle um, on Monday, following this Monday night, following Raw, and of course AJ Styles winning the United States Championship at a live event at Madison Square Garden for Kevin Owens. Uh, so that's just a couple of bits there. Uh, but getting into the predictions for tomorrow night's Great Balls of Fire event. Um, we have eight matches in all looking at the card right now. Uh, f one, two, three, four, five title matches. We have an ambulance match. And some other and and many other uh, matches taking place. So let's get right into the predictions. Of course, we start off with the WWE Universal Championship match. It is going to be Brock Lesnar, the champion, defending against the number one contender Samoa Joe. Uh, the way that they have been booking this match, as far as the lead up to this matchup, I thought had. I think has been really good for Samoa Joe. Uh, he is not he the way they have been booking him is he him not showing any fear whatsoever of Brock Lesnar. A few weeks ago they got into it in the ring, and then uh, about a week or so later, uh, Samoa Joe attacked Brock Lesnar while he was making his uh, entrance and locked him in the Coquina Clutch. Uh, and then, when, of course, with what happened, I believe it was this past Monday when they did the interview segment with uh, Samoa Joe, you know, leaving his where he was at and looking for Lesnar and it, them almost getting into it. Obviously, I think that this has been a, a great uh, thing uh, as far as booking-wise for this match. Uh, now, just hopefully that this match uh, is lives up to that hype because if you book the match you make the match and then you book it to be you know as far as the lead up is you know is great and then the match is a flop you know what does that say so uh as far as picking a winner in this one um you know i i'm i'm i know i'm probably gonna get you know there's probably gonna be people that are disagree but I'm gonna say Samoa Joe. I'm gonna say Samoa Joe. I mean, even though I they'll probably put Lesnar over, um, I'm gonna say Samoa Joe. That's that's my official pick. If I'm wrong, fine. I have not. I don't. I'm. I have nothing against Brock Lesnar, but the way that the raw, you know, ratings for Raw have been going down, um, I think they need to have a champion that's gonna be there week after week. I'm sorry, but Samoa Joe is my official pick. Uh, we have the Raw Women's Championship on the line. Uh, Alexa Bliss defends against Sasha Banks. Sa Sasha Banks. Um, this one, I mean, this could be a, a good matchup um, coming up uh, coming up on uh, tomorrow night. Um, 
you know, Sasha winning that gauntlet match a few weeks ago on Raw to earn this opportunity. You know, Alexa Bliss has been a, you know, since coming to Raw, she won the Raw Women's title. And she's kept it for this, you know, for this period of time. Um, I think this matchup will be good. Um, as far as picking a winner, though, hmm. I think Alexa Bliss. I, I'm going to say Alexa Bliss retains the championship. Um, you know, somebody different having that title instead of, you know, the same people all the time. I think it's a good idea. So I think she's. I think Alexa is going to retain the championship over Sasha. Over Sasha tomorrow night. Uh, the cruiserweight championship is going to be on the line. Uh, Neville. Defense against Akira Tozawa. I this one actually got moved to the kickoff show, so that's going to be on the. This match is going to be on the kickoff show prior to. Uh, I think this one is going to be a good one uh, as well. You know, both men great style in the ring as far as competing. You know, Tozawa looking to end Neville's title reign that he has had since the Royal Rumble. Uh, Neville, of course, uh, looking to remain uh, the king of the Cruiserweights. Um, what role uh, will Titus O'Neil play in this matchup as well? I feel that this match can be good if it was set up another way, but with, you know, Titus having that Titus brand and then him signing Tozawa that kind of takes away from it so hopefully they could have a, a straight one-on-one -on -one match between these two uh, as far as picking a winner um, I'm gonna say Neville retains uh, you know just because he's been so dominant as cruiserweight champion and the way that they've been you know booking him as a dominant champion uh, so that's gonna that's my official pick. I think Neville will retain the championship on uh, tomorrow night. Uh, we have the Intercontinental Title on the line as the Miz defends against Dean Ambrose. Hopefully, hopefully they put an end to this feud. I I like I told a friend of mine at work. Um, that I really want to see this feud come to an end. I'm really getting tired of seeing it. Um, I think The Miz will retain the championship here. I think, uh, and it will be because of some chicanery by, um, what's your, by Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel, or Maurice. So that's my official pick for that one. Uh, but I do hope that this, that tomorrow night this ends this feud. Um, we have the Raw Tag Team Titles on the line in a 30-minute Iron Man match. It'll be the champions, Sheamus and Cesaro, taking on the Hardys, or defending against the Hardys. Um, this one, I think, could be a match of the night. Um, both teams, different, you know, different styles as far as as far as teamwork is concerned. You have the high flying ability. You have the you know the high flying ability of the Hardys. You know, and then you got the power and strength and, you know, speed, agility of Sheamus and Cesaro. I think we'll make for a very good tag team match. Um, and then you have, you know, you add that 30-minute Iron Man uh, stipulation in there. Uh, it could come, you know, it could come down to, you know, the last seconds of that match where somebody makes a mistake. Um, as far as picking a winner, though, who, um, hmm. I think, uh, you know, I think, I think Sheamus and Cesaro will retain, uh, by somehow, by some hook or crook, um, so that's my official pick for that match. Um, we have, in what might, what could be the main event, it's an ambulance match between Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. This feud has been going on since January. Uh, 
and I think this is the best way to end this feud between these two. Um, even though they could revisit it sometime down the road. Make sure here, sorry. Um, Strowman and Reigns, they've been going at it. I think this is going to be a real physical encounter. Uh, you, you know, no rules, no disqualifications, no countouts. The only way to win is to put your opponent in the back of an ambulance. Um, we are we know that Roman Reigns looks like he's is going to he's going to be uh, heading to SummerSlam to face the Universal Champion, regardless of the result of this match. Um, so, even though I would like to see Braun Strowman win. I'm going to go with Roman Reigns on this one. Uh, we have Bray Wyatt versus Seth Rollins. Uh, this one could be pretty good as well. Um, you know, both these guys, you know, looking for, you know, a big win here tomorrow night. Um, my official pick for this match, um, as much as I don't think it would hurt, it would hurt Seth Rollins to lose, uh, I think it would hurt Bray Wyatt. Um, so that's my official pick. Uh, Bray Wyatt is my official pick for this match between him and Seth Rollins. And then, of course, we have Enzo Amore versus Big Cass. Um, this one, two, you know, two former tag team partners battling it out. Um... You know, Big Cass turning on Enzo Amore a few weeks ago. Uh, you know what? Big Cass is going to be my official pick, so I don't keep, uh, you know, stuttering and, and keep rambling. I think Big Cass, you know, turning him heel, uh, will, ha you know, he'll go over tomorrow night. Uh, so... That's my official pick. I think Big Cass will walk out victorious tomorrow night over Enzo. Uh, so overall, though, uh, my thoughts on this show coming up tomorrow night. I think it's going to be a pretty good show. Hopefully, uh, there looks a lot of like a lot of potential for a few matches to be really good. Um, if you guys are planning on watching Great Balls of Fire tomorrow night, uh, let me know what you guys think of what what you guys think is going to happen in the comments below. Uh, this has been my WWE Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view predictions. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.